he pleads, we can kill it. Hey guys, it's your boy Carnage here. We are officially reviewing a NECA 2010 movie Predator figure. This is, sorry about that, that's Piper, my other parrot. Uh, this doesn't come with it, <coughs> but let's get on with the Predator figure. This guy has got some real nice sculpting work. He does do some nice pose. He is another poser. He does have a nice face, ma a face mask. I don't know if you can see the, uh, the nice hole in the side of his mask, so he's definitely been fighting. But here is the packaging. Stand. I know you want to stand. There we go. Here's the packaging. I don't know if you can see that. But let's get on with the figure because it is a really nice figure. I have plenty of other figures to review. There is going to be a big end to the Predator figures. Um, I have two special Predator figures that I've had since a couple of years since they've first come out. But let's get down to this figure and the articulation. Now, the cannon, his cannon does come off. Mine is really, and I mean really loose. It was really warped, as you can see. So I'll have to heat that up and put that back on. This does come off. And then you can get some nice head movement from him. Nice ball joint movement. His head is on a ball joint. But uh, yeah, so you can get some nice head movement. He does have arm movement. His arm can go all the way around. Can go in and out that far. You've got to be careful because this hinges his arm and you don't want to pull that off. It is a bit of plastic, as you've just seen, it does go up. Uh, his blades do retract, which is really cool. But these are quite flimsy. I wish they would have done these. Not metal, but uh, you know, just something a little bit more solid. But you can't argue with that because you're getting what you get. His hands are on a little ball joint, and most of these figures they do pop off quite easy, but they are quite stable, so that is pretty good. His legs do move. The problem I have with this figure, I prefer my ball joints, not this crotch. You know, I feel like it's cut more of the figure off. I think I feel like Phil, this figure should have a ball joint. There is a the first Predator fo the movie that does have a ball joint. I know there is one out there that does have a ball joint. Uh, his torso can swivel, but it kind of looks silly if you go all the way around because you've got his his diaper thing, his back like diaper thing there, and yeah, it doesn't sort of match up, so it doesn't really look as good. His knee is on a hinge; it can go left and right. So you can get those extra poses. And his feet is on a ball joint. But the most thing I wanted this figure for, I am so sorry about the birds, he's making so much noise. The one thing I really do love about this figure is just his face, his sculpt. It's, I mean, you know, this, this helmet piece here. I mean, if you do get this figure, you can actually see a predator eye. And then for the rest, you can't really see anything else. There's no mandibles, you can't take the mask off. But um, like I said, the battle damage I love about this figure. The netting feels quite nice. I mean, it's not actual netting. It would be nice on some of the figures. But um, and also, if you do move this arm, you have to be really careful of these little bits of plastic because they will rip. And yeah, and it's got this bit here. So if you do get these figures, be very careful. But this, in general, is a really good figure to have. Um, that skull is, I don't know if I've already said, is a part of the accessory pack which I will be reviewing at some point. And yeah, that's it guys. Thank you very much and subscribe and peace. So ladies and gents, I hope you like this video. I will be going away for holidays so please don't unsubscribe. Keep subscribed, there will be some new videos by the time I get back. I don't know how long I'm going for, but I promise you there will be new videos uploaded, airsoft, figure reviews, possibly some moto vlogs. 
um, and happy holidays. Like and subscribe, yo.